In this video, you will make a line plot. This tutorial assumes that you've already installed Panoply and have a NetCDF file open that you wish to visualize. On the Panoply Sources screen, click on the dataset you wish to plot and then click the Create Plot icon at the top. In the dialog box that comes up, click in the radio button next to Create Line Plot Along the Lat, Lawn, or Time Axis. Select the variable you wish to plot as your x-axis and click Create. By the way, unlike the lat long and Hobmuller plots described in other videos, you cannot combine line plots at this time. This is what your line plot will look like. To view the actual values of the dataset variables, click on the Array tab at the top of your window. Now let's look at your tabs below the line plot. On the Arrays tab, you can advance through time steps using your arrow keys, or by entering a number, for example, time step 2 of 47. The line graph will update with each step. Or you can select a specific time step from the Time drop-down menu. Right now, data are displayed as data per latitude, averaged across all longitudes. Deselect the check mark in the box next to Average to look at values in one longitude at a time. You can navigate through the longitude steps in the same way you move through the time steps. Note the average feature is only available with longitude. When you're plotting time or longitude, you may navigate through latitude steps in the same way you move through time steps. Use the Stroke tab to customize the line. You're able to edit the style, color, and weight. The Caption default pulls the data caption from the dataset. Click the radio button next to Other to enter a different label for the line. You can modify the grid style and weight on the Grid tab. Enter values into the left, right, top, and bottom fields to adjust the minimum and maximum values for each axis. You can flip the values on each axis by clicking the Swap button. Click Fit to Data to automatically set the y-axis to the dataset's min and max values. Note that once you fit to data, you cannot simply deselect it. To change the axis scale, you will need to enter values into the top and bottom fields. Use Format to select the number of decimal places and how the values are rounded for each axis. Adjust the number of major divisions, or tick marks, on the axis and the number of minor divisions that subset each tick mark. Use the Labels tab to change the displayed plot name and plot title. Click Background to select a dark or light background. We hope you have found this video useful. Print copies of these step-by-step -step instructions are also available. Thank you.